Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, have we found Hitomi's replacement? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Hitomi is obviously irreplaceable. However, she has been copywriting me lately whenever I talk about her, you know, and who can honestly take 20 minutes of Hitomi on a Sunday morning, you know, losing a little too many brain cells with the psychedelic uh, mumbo jumbo that comes out of her mouth. Plus, she never honored my cookie sponsorship. Totomi's very vegan cookies are available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. We have dark chocolate with walnut and hazelnut as well as white chocolate with macadamia nut. Two organic, vegan, minimally inflammatory, delicious cookies available for you guys. And uh, to me, just, you know, bad business move on her part. But hey, maybe we'll have Owan's. Very vegan cookies. I'll have to come up with a creative name for her. And uh, as you can see, she is <laughs> uh, very intelligent, uh, just like Hitomi, you know. Uh, tons of knowledge available on her Instagram. Tons of knowledge. And, uh, you know, we can tell she's obviously very, very smart about diet and nutrition. We have a lot to learn from her. Classic Pinterest you know, like social media pages, like everything looks like it was taken out of a magazine or like just per ridiculously perfect background. Just, just, you know, living like the, the rich trust fund life. But, um, apparently she is vegetarian. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. And she has friends. Ooh. Okay. Okay, 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 boys. Back to the topic at hand. We have what I eat in a day, simple plus vegetarian. Hi, guys. Good morning. Feeling very sluggish today. I was supposed to get up at 6 today and I just could not. I think my period is coming. I'm having some slight cramps right now and I just feel more tired than... I mean, yeah, you know, taking some fluoride straight to the dome in the morning in a high EMF apartment. Yeah, you're going to be kind of like a robotic zombie. You know, what, what do you expect? What do you expect? Oh, wait, she does have a giant five-gallon water jug here, so... Maybe not too much fluoride. Maybe she's just getting some plastic. Unusual. It's 8 a.m. already, so I'm two hours later than when I'm supposed to get up. But I'm going to do a what I eat in a day and show you guys everything I eat today. All right, let's make a smoothie. There's a fly in my kitchen right now. It's flying around. I mean, look, look she's a, a little absent mind. <laughs> there's, there's a fly in my kitchen. He's flying around. I can't. I can't. Uh, I, you know, I, I do see the similarities with the Tomi, you know, kind of half naked, has a serpent tattoo. And it's scaring me. Okay, bananas. Peanut Why I like her, though, like her eyes are a little wider apart, which, you know, makes her look a little dumber, which I, you know, guys love that. Guys love it when girls are hot and stupid butter, oatmeal, and oatmeal. Okay, I feel like my brain is really not functioning right oh, now. Oh, you don't have to tell us, sweetie. Why on the morning that I decide to film? I think that's every morning. I feel like this is a good amount. Maybe two cups. Hey, at least she's confident, you know, not some wishy-washy nonsense where these other vegans are putting like, oh, this is a disclaimer, guys. This is just what I do. Don't do it. No, she's just right into it. This is what I do. I mean, do they all have the same editors? Like the, the cheesy 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 editing with the elevator music in the background L literal elevator music i'm gonna put 
put some chia seeds on oh, top. Well, it's looking pretty good until the bird food. I'm kind of a fan of this because a lot of the time these vegans will have these nonsense like super high volume, high water content, low calorie breakfasts. Whereas, you know, banana, oats, peanut butter, all pretty calorically dense. I mean, it doesn't look like they're organic, which is the main thing you need to do to reduce the agrochemicals and the negatives. And oat milk, especially most brands, they're adding like synthetic chemicals and stuff in them that you don't really want to be consuming. But if it was homemade oat milk with all organic ingredients, I, I think this would be good. I mean, we could kind of just disregard the chia seeds because they come out the same way they came in. But um, it's not bad. At least it's some calories. At least it's some calories. I could honestly make something similar to this that I would eat that would be kind of healthy. But, you know, you could swap out the peanut butter for macadamia nut butter. Um, you know, you can make macadamia nut milk instead of oat milk. Uh, the bananas aren't that bad of a choice, but you could use other fruits as well. And then the oats, mm, it depends. You know, usually you want quick oats, uh, but, you know, a lot of you guys have, like, talked about fermenting the oats and reducing the anti-nutrient content even more. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, now I'm going to take my supplements. I have vitamin K2 and D3. She's just like <laughs> so unmotivated. Like she doesn't want to be doing anything. And she's just making it so obvious. Ah, uh, hey guys, here's my supplement. It's like she hates, it's like she hates us. FB100 complex. take two capsules i mean some guys like you know especially italian guys like me we like that we like we need girls to slam the door in our face and pepper spray us until we go away and that anyway uh vitamin d3 plus k2 usually the form of k2 is mk7 instead of mk4 which isn't that available and the dose of d3 is usually way too high so i, I would just swap that out for an mk4 supplement and get plenty of sun the B100 complex, all of the synthetic B vitamin dosages they put in most supplements are way too high and toxic, which is why we came up with a, a natural B complex on organsupplements.com. And then fish oil is just oxidized poison, should not be taking it under any circumstance. Just have fish once a week, once every two weeks. Uh, most of the stuff, I mean, I wouldn't take any of these supplements personally, but you can make some slight adjustments to something reasonable. Organsupplements.com. Also, I cannot swallow multiple pills at one oh, I time. I wouldn't have guessed it's that. It's like impossible for me, so I have to do all of this individually, which is so annoying. I bet she can do it when she's drunk. Okay, let's get dressed and go get coffee. I'm kind of been putting it off because I wonder if that's her I'm real hair. Easy to walk over there, but I feel so sleepy. I need some caffeine. Bro, th this is th girls in 2023 too lazy to walk down the street and get a coffee look at her the, the background in this her closet with like thousands and thousands of dollars of nice stuff is a testament to hey may, maybe some people have a little too easy of a life maybe we need to put them in the mines and have them dig sand for a few hours you guys know like the ufc fighter francis naganu that's literally what he used to do now he's obviously rich and born and stuff but we need we need a little you know little trip back to reality right now so how i mean she's wearing braces she's still in her teens okay so i'm getting a little bit hungry because my <laughs> because you have a salad bigger than the size of your head in front of you oh i see an egg in there oh man imagine if i would have missed that is that an egg? Imagine if I missed it and like the rest of the day was completely vegan. Imagine. Hungry because yeah, that's gotta be an egg. My breakfast was kind of small, so I'm just one eating egg. A salad uh, as our sole source lunch. of animal nutrition. I guess it's kind of like a brunch. I'll probably eat something else later but for now i just want something really crunchy and chewy because i only have liquids this morning is that an avocado no right it looks really big oh it must have been it looked kind of big for an avocado 
<laughs> you know, Smiling with her salad. Pretty big salad. I'm oh, really? Quite full of this. Let's see, because after this, I'm gonna do some. Uh, honestly, I. I don't know how they stomach half of it. They must be so ravenously hungry from not having enough animal protein in their diet that they can just down this giant... I feel like this would completely fill up your stomach and you have to sit there and let it, the food push through to stomach the rest of it. Light stretches, light workout, and um, let's see if I get hungry. And there's people that do this too. I forgot what it's called. They'll just eat like really high volume, low calorie vegetables the whole day just to keep their stomach full to lose weight or think they're being healthy. When in reality, if you just had one bite of steak, that would be more nutritious and keep you fuller for longer than this bowl of nonsense. But yeah, it's just like sure. just also, clearing out your digestion. Still wearing my pajamas and maybe getting some agrochemicals from whatever you know. was sprayed on all those leaves. Yeah, she does. She doesn't look too uh, too physically energized with how she flopped that yoga mat on the floor. Yo, you know what the boys on TikTok are saying now, pertaining to Asian girls? If it ain't rice, it ain't nice. If it ain't. <laughs> If it ain't rice, it ain't nice. <laughs> I don't think anyone with a serpent tattoo is nice. Looks like some tofu, seitan, seitan, tempeh, whatever we want to call it. The evil meat replacement. I don't know what type of oil that was, but... If it's olive oil, not that bad. If it's a seed oil, at least you didn't put that much. We got some type of sauced tofu. This is very traditional Asian food, I guess. Bowl of rice. At least it has some calories with the rice and the tofu, you know. Look at my tofu. It looks so good. And have my rice. I cannot live without white rice. I can eat this. I do actually eat this every day. Cannot live without rice. That's just the Asian in me. Hey, at least she's honest and straightforward, not acting too much. I mean, you're not going to be that hot for that much longer following this diet. Okay, it's time for dinner. I'm gonna try and make this ramen that I'm obsessed with. I got it in Bangkok. It's called Tantanmen Ramen. I thought I would learn how to make it because I can't just fly to Bangkok every time I want to eat it. I s that sounds very... I, I can't just fly to Bangkok every time I eat it. Well, I can't just fly to Bangkok every time I want to eat it. The way she phrased that, it sounds like she actually could. I saw this recipe on YouTube. I'm going to try and make it. So I have the recipe on my Apple Watch. I just have some string. Hey, listen, maybe... Oan, oh, Oan, oh, is that how you say her name? Listen, maybe if you didn't have the Apple Watch, if you didn't have the tablet, the cell phone, the high Wi-Fi apartment, maybe if you were with me in my metal tent, you would feel a lot more energized and motivated and your brain would start functioning. Onion and garlic chopped. I have some tofu that I like. Oh, uh, more tofu. That's exactly it's what this diet needs. <laughs> Another giant and bowl of tofu. And make the broth. You know... I'm sure someone has figured out the amount of estrogen you need to actually grow breasts. I was about getting into that today. <laughs> it looks like some, I'm guessing that's some type of beer. I, oh, I mean, that's there's no way that's going to be good. She just sauteed two vegetables for like, what, a few minutes and then added uh, some chili oil. What's what's the what's the liquid base? Is this like a canned stock that I missed with that? I have no idea what that was. Did she say what it was? I mean, it's just onion, garlic and 
some type of nut butter. What is that? What is that? I mean, it's got to be a beer or something, right? I don't know. Okay, so there's some sauces and sugar or something in it. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but I try my best. This is kind of hey. ugly. I don't know She's how sweet. to arrange this. Okay, the moment of truth. If it's bad, I'm going to be so sad. It's almost like she wants it to be bad. I just put a little bit too much chili oil, I think. You wanna taste it? It doesn't taste like that one, but it tastes good on its own. Oh my god, I definitely put way too much chili. Oh, of course! She's got some tall, ugly boyfriend already. I've had enough of this video. I've had oh. enough. Oh my god, it's so spicy. It's spicy. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> This is honestly, she deserves all the subs because she's honest. Like we know all of these vegan influencers and these liars, like they'll go through, we know they're throwing out the food after they make it and they order takeout. At least she admits it was bad. You know, at least she admits it was bad. I mean, I mean, of course it's, it's some vegan ramen. It's not, you need like a pork broth or a beef broth or a decent base to it for it to taste good, you know? Wherever she got the dish in the restaurant, they're probably throwing all sorts of stuff in it that she didn't. Okay, I, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was a tall, ugly white dude. I just guessed, and I was right. That's the thing, bro. If I was half a foot tall, I'd actually be too pretty. I'd have to get like Korean girls or something, you know? Because the other Asian girls, like, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna be mean today. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. You know, the American Asian girls, like tall, ugly white dudes. But like the actual pretty Asian girls, like, you know, I gotta be a little. You know, they like the tall, pretty boys, but you know, they actually don't have to flee their country to get a boyfriend. Uh, so I'm surprised she didn't just take the egg out of the salad and call it vegan. <laughs> I mean, do dogs aren't vegan. You know, you can't, you can't be vegan and have a dog. That's, that's not allowed. Um, but she did have, Hey, look what one egg <laughs> in the salad, I guess. Uh, that's all the animal nutrition she needs for the day. I mean, it could be better. could be worse. A Wanda queen. What is she? The queen of farts with all those vegetables in her diet. I love that you prioritize your health both mentally and physically. I also have the bad habit of putting off my health when I'm busy, but your vlogs always remind me to do I mean, this is the problem. These girls think that this is healthy, that not having any animal foods whatsoever in their diet is healthy. But hey, maybe you can look pretty good when you're young on this diet, but that's anyone. If a girl is young and hot, she could have vodka and pizza for 10 years and still be hot, but eventually it's going to catch up to her. You know, the people that look good in their 30s, 40s, 50s are the ones that actually have things correct. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many of these views are real. I don't know how much of this is fake. Usually uh, 62 comments on 50K views is a little fishy. But uh, hey, look, she's, uh, she's kind of a baddie. And just the thumbnails. I mean, this is like, this is just like classic Pinter. Maybe this is what I have to do, bro. I have to go vegan wear crop tops, get a nice modern apartment in Bali or something and just have some crappy editor put together some nonsense for my social media. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Big Super Bowl day, so I'm sure you guys are going to be relaxing later. <sighs> so as I said earlier, you guys can go to, I guess we could show you guys. You guys can go to frankiesfreerangefoods.com where we have a variety of unique and interesting products ranging from meats, to fermented foods, we just added the sourdough starter and the mentioned Totomi's organic chocolate chip cookie bars. We have the ingredients listed here, guys, if you'd like to try them out. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. 
leave a comment down below, subscribe and check that notification bell. And you guys can also check out frankdestefano.com if you guys would like to see all of my other businesses as well as social media pages. Thanks again for joining, guys, and we'll see you soon.